close that class. This is the continuation of Lesson 8.1b, which we started already, and it was really short, and I remembered after I stopped the video that I forgot a piece. So I'm going to do it now. It's going to be really short. But um, one of the things they're going to ask you in your homework and also on the quiz is to interpret your interval that you just calculated. So after you've calculated this interval, what does it actually mean? Remember, it is an interval of plausible values. So the way to interpret it correctly is to say, this is how confident we are. Um, so let's do this. You would say something like, we are whatever percent confident, usually 95%, that the interval from whatever your numbers are contains the true parameter, which is a mean or a proportion. Of, don't forget your context. So that is one detail that I should have mentioned and I did not. Um, we are not going to call it a probability because it's not. It's not a matter of chance. It's the interval either captured it or not. Um, and so this is how confident we are that we captured the true mean inside our interval that we just calculated. And then the other thing that they might ask you to do is to interpret the confidence level. Which is the 95% itself or whatever percent it is. Um, and so the, if they ask you to do that, then the level, let's say it's 95%, would be talking about if we did this many, many times, this is how often we would capture it. So 95% of all possible samples, random samples from this population, I think I won't write all of that, would produce an interval that captures produce an interval that captures the true mean or proportion. And we will talk about this some more in the next few days. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it today because it's a short class, but um, it is definitely not a probability. And we'll talk on another day, I promise, about why it's not a probability. Um, it's about many possible random samples and what could happen if we did that. All right, so sorry about that little thing that I left out before.